guys, it's Amanda. So look at this. You can tell it's a Halloween tutorial from the title and the fact that this is what I look like. So I I am in love with this look. I just think it's so cool and it's a way to do something different with your makeup in a fun, like kind of creepy Halloween tutorial. But it still looks so cool and you still look cute. Honestly, I think this look is more of a space babe. This is a look that I came up with and I think it's really cool and it's actually pretty easy. I use like very few colors, like I think I use two, two eyeshadows in this. And it's pretty simple. If you just follow my steps, I think you'll be able to get it. So um, if you are interested in how I did my makeup, my hair, and my outfit, then keep on watching. As always, I'm starting off with a face primer. This is the Benefit Professional, and then I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to conceal my under eyes and to highlight my face because I always do this, but it definitely makes you look more awake and just highlights your face awesome. I'm just blending this out super naturally, but still keeping the coverage now I'm applying a super light foundation shade and this is actually like the color of my face but I usually use something a little bit darker so it matches my body. Anyways, I'm just applying a light colored shade on my face because I feel like it, you should just be pale for this. So whatever is like a couple shades lighter than your skin tone, use that. And then I'm setting this with a translucent powder. I don't want to use a colored powder because it might lose how pale it is. I want to keep it super pale and matte. Now to start with eyes, I'm priming with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I like to use this because it covers up the redness on my eyelids and any veins, makes it very smooth, and makes your eyeshadows last. I'm first using this very bright green color from BH Cosmetics, and I'm just applying this on my lids very messily because I, it didn't really matter. I'm using this darker green color from Urban Decay, and I'm just applying this into the crease. And I'm going all the way into the inner corner on the like inside of my nose there and making sure that the greens blend really nicely and have not a super harsh line. With the same dark green color, I'm taking this on an angled brush and outlining the eyeshadow that I already have on my eyes, just drawing a line and then bringing it on the inside of my nose too, kind of like you would be contouring your nose, but super harshly and connecting it to your eyeshadow. So it's a little crazy, but it looks so cool. I'm doing this to the other side too. I'm also dragging the color down to make it blend into the crease color we already have. So it's more natural, but it still has a gradient and the line. And now for crazy eyebrows, I'm using this kind of glitter glue. It's like a primer that's supposed to make glitter stick to you better, but I'm putting this on my eyebrows so the eyeshadow is more vibrant. I am using just the bright green eyeshadow in my eyebrows, but then I'm going to take the darker green to make it look a little bit more natural. I'm just filling in my eyebrows how I would normally do it, but just with green. The next step is to draw a line underneath your eye. So like right underneath where you can feel your eyeball if you put your fingers underneath your eyes. I'm just drawing that with a dark green color and the angled brush. You can kind of try to angle it towards the outside of your eye like that, but it just looks really cool. And I'm highlighting underneath my eyebrow and underneath my eyes. So in the inner corner and all the way on like my lower lash line with a white shimmery color. And following that, I'm putting the bright green color in the middle of the line and where I added the white earlier. This just pulls it all together and makes it all connected. Now I'm gonna line my waterline and tightline with just a black eyeliner. I decided to add some fake eyelashes after this and I didn't show it on camera because I can hardly do it on my own, let alone sitting in front of a camera. So I just kind of sped that up and boom, there they are. My eyes got super irritated at this point, but I'm applying some mascara to blend my eyelashes and the falsies together and then applying some eyeliner on my top lash line to make sure you can't really see where the band of the eyelashes are. And for the contour, I'm obsessed with this. I'm using the dark green eyeshadow and this eyeshadow brush. 
and just making a super super harsh contour I'm doing that on both sides and I think it makes you look so fierce it'll make your cheekbones look so defined it's crazy now for lips I'm using a black lipstick you can find this at any Halloween store or if you happen to find like an actual good quality black lipstick like let me know I would like that this look looks awesome with just a plain black lipstick, but I decided to add something else. I just took some green glitter and patted this in the middle of my lip to add a little bit extra to it. And that is the final makeup look. Woo! I'm obsessed with it. And now for hair, I'm going to be doing space buns because I'm an alien. Duh! I'm splitting my hair down the middle. So you have a middle part and taking one side of it, pulling it all up and you're gonna make this a bun on the top of your head. You just smooth it out and then twist the hair until you got a cute little bun. I only had a purple rubber band, but you know what? I just made it work. Just went with it. I did the same thing to the other side, trying to make it as even as I could. As you can tell, this bun is kind of messy, but I think it works. It still looks super cute if it's messy. There's also a piece of hair that I forgot to grab, but don't worry, I fix that up later. And bam, there is your look. For my outfit, I am wearing this matching top and skirt from American Apparel. I just think it's super futuristic and alien-ish, I guess. The space buns go perfectly with this, and the shoes I'm wearing are from Delia's. They're just these strappy sandals. And that is the whole look. So that was this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. So make sure to send me any pictures on Twitter or Instagram if you try this out. I would love, love, love to see it. So happy early Halloween and I hope this helped you out. Bye.